In this video, I'm going to show you how you can identify different uh, devices, radio devices frequency using your port pack. So I have two different devices, uh, my wireless switch and wireless doorbell. So let's just see how we can identify the frequency of uh, these two devices. And you can use the same method to identify the frequencies of uh, other different devices, other radio devices as well. So let me start my port pack. And first of all, what you have to do is you have to go in uh, looking glass. And over here, there are a few options which you have to uh, consider. So let me go through these options. So let me make it focused so you can see it clearly. So over here, you can see uh, minimum and maximum length of the graph. And then there is preset. So let's just first talk about the preset. So preset is something on which you can set uh, the graph level of different things like pager. And these, these are for pagers. And over here you can see 315 and 433 megahertz. So all type of these devices, these radio devices lie between 315 and 433 megahertz. So that's why this graph is given. So we will uh, use this graph for now. Uh, as you can see it's written key for uh, and over here there is marker so let's just keep the marker on the same level and we will adjust the marker later so uh, i think uh, we are good to go on this graph and uh, you have to notice on the graph when i when I, whenever i'll press the button you have to notice on the graph right so just focus on the graph let me press the button so over here you can see there is a frequency, right? So let me try it one more time. See, you can see the frequency over here, right? So let's just move our marker over there on that frequency. So it's around 433. Let's just try it one more time. See, it's 433. So right now we have identified the rough frequency right now we have to find the exact frequency so the rough frequency is around 433 so let's just go back from looking glass and let's just go and receive and over here you will see a search option so you have to go in search and you have to adjust uh, the maximum and, and minimum graph over here as well so our frequency is around 433 so I have set the graph from uh, 430 uh, and the maximum is 435, right? And you also have to adjust this LA, LNA and VG, uh, VGA. LNA is low, uh, low noise amplification and VGA is, uh, and VGA is uh, variable graph amplifier. So you have to adjust it according to your uh, device. So uh, I, ha I have just kept it 24 and 24, which works great for me for all the devices. Uh, so you can check it and accord adjust it according to your needs. Uh, the basic uh, thing uh, which this these two things will do is it will increase and decrease the graph over here. So it can note the frequency. Let me show you what I mean. So whenever I'll press the button, you have to notice over here, right? See? The graph goes on top and then it records the frequency. So that's why you have to, you know, focus on these two things. If the graph is going too low, you have to increase this. And if the graph is going too high, you have to decrease these values. So let me try it one more time. So as you can see, the exact frequency of this wireless switch is 433.9375, right? Let me try it one more time. As you can see, 433.93. Or 95 so this is the exact frequency of this uh, switch and in the same way we can find the frequency of our uh, wireless doorbell as well so we will go in looking glass one more time and we have uh, just uh, adjusted the graph the preset is uh, three, uh, 315 from 433 so this is uh, the exactly the frequency on which this doorbell can lie so let me just press the doorbell button. And again, you can see uh, the level over here. It's a small, as you can see, just focus it over here one more time. 
and again we will uh, move our marker to this frequency which is again I think 433 right so it's around 433 so let's just go in receive and we'll go in search and over here we have just set the minimum and maximum values let's just press the doorbell button and you can see the exact frequency of this doorbell as well which is 433.88 so this is how you can find the frequency of different wireless devices according to your need and uh, you can use the similar method on all the radio devices thank you